today we're going to talk about how tax brackets work and more specifically how the progressive tax system works inside the United States. My name is Spencer Ford, a certified financial planner professional with Conservative Financial Solutions, and we'll get right into today's topic. Like most countries around the world, the United States has a progressive tax system. That means the more money you make, the higher percentage of your income goes to paying taxes. Currently, there are seven marginal income tax brackets under the United States tax code. So there's the 10% bracket, the 12% bracket, the 22% tax bracket, 24%, 32, 35, and finally, we have the 37% tax bracket. But here's the thing that sometimes confuses people. Just because you might be in the 22% tax bracket doesn't mean that all of your income is taxed at 22%. For example, if you're a single filer, according to the 2023 brackets, the first $11,000 of your taxable income is taxed at 10%. Then the next $33,725 is taxed at 12%. After that, you enter the 22% tax bracket and whatever ends up in that tax bracket will be taxed at 22%. Even Elon Musk, if he is reporting taxable income, has some money taxed at 10%, then 12%, and so on. He just gets through those tax brackets a little bit faster than the rest of us. Let me take you through an example of a single filer making $100,000 a year to help explain our tax system a little further. So, okay, you make $100,000 a year as a single filer. How much are you going to be paying in taxes? Well, the real answer to that question is the answer that everybody hates, and that is, it depends. It depends on which state you live in, what county you live in, what city, and maybe even what school district, as many of those localities charge their own tax. But let's ignore all of that for a second. We're just going to talk about federal tax, for example. So you make $100,000 a year, you have no other income to report. So no bank interest, no investment interest, dividends, capital gains, or capital losses, any of that stuff. Just $100,000 of W-2 employee income. If that's the case, your adjusted gross income, which is all of that stuff I just mentioned added together, would be $100,000. But that's not what you pay tax on. The federal government allows most filers to either take a standard deduction or itemized deduction. I itemized deductions. The standard deduction for a single filer in 2023 is $13,850. Basically, the government graciously says, hey, we'll let you have that amount tax free. You can deduct even more than your standard deduction if you itemize deductions, which includes things like your mortgage interest and charitable contributions, as long as that's more than your standard deductions. But for, for our example, we're just going to stick with the standard deduction of $13,850. So $100,000 minus your standard deduction of $13,850 is $86,150. That's your taxable income. So $11,000 of that is going to be taxed at 10%. $33,725 is going to be taxed at 12%, and the remaining $41,425 is going to be taxed at 22% for a whopping total tax of $14,260. You made $100,000, you paid $14,260 in taxes. Does that mean you get to keep $85,740? I'm afraid that's not the case. You don't get to keep $84,740 because 7.65% or in our case $7,650 was already taken off the top of your $100,000 in the terms in, in, the, in the course of Social Security and Medicare tax. Now you're down to $78,090. That's before state tax, other local taxes that we've talked about. Oh, and don't forget every time you go and buy something, you get to pay sales tax. So by the time that you add up all those taxes, you'd be lucky to keep $70,000 of the $100,000 you made or, or 70 cents for every dollar. And that's a little bit more about how our tax system works here in the United States. I'm Spencer Ford, a certified financial planner professional and CEO of Concerta Financial Solutions. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.